My name is Lauren and I work with Solar Cutters in marketing and partnerships. With the launch of the Solar Cutters membership, we thought it would be the perfect chance to highlight our partners in these video profiles. Today, I'm joined with Sam from AWISE. Welcome, Sam, and please tell us a little bit about yourself and AWISE. Sure. Um, gosh, um, myself, um, I've been in the industry for um, seven years. I um, work at NRG Solar in Adelaide. I'm also on the board of the Smart Energy Council, um, a committee member for Solar Cutters, and um, recently um, founded a wise Australian Women in Solar Energy with a bunch of incredible women from this in, um, industry. So um, that's who I am. Oh, pretty amazing. <laughs> and tell us a bit about um, AYS. Sure. So AWISE um, is a member-based uh, non-for-profit, I suppose. We're working towards getting our non-for-profit started. Um, we're looking at uh, engaging with like-minded individuals to help create equality throughout the industry and really trying to promote and share opportunities with women um, throughout. At the moment, our real focus is trying to get more women apprentices in the industry We've been doing a lot of work with schools, um, RTOs and scholarships, um, and just really helping companies understand how to retain and to engage um, women apprentices at their workplace. Okay. Um, and so why does uh, AWISE support solar cutters? Um, well, I feel like AWISE and solar cutters have very similar values. In fact, the two organisations really complement each other really nicely. Solar Cutters is um, a community that strives to increase quality and helps installers and retailers every day, um, whereas AWISE um, is promoting equality throughout this process. So engaging our amazing women in the industry and attracting more female talent. So um, we really work hand in hand in um, making this industry um, an attractive employment opportunity for anyone um, while keeping the quality and diversity of this industry up. Um, we often joke um, at Solar at AWISE that um, Solar Cutters is like our brother and we're like the sister, so we like work <laughs> together all the time. Oh, that's nice. That's <laughs> yeah. really nice. Um, and where would you like to see Solar Cutters in the next five years or so? Sure. Um, They've got some great initiatives going on at the moment. I'd love to see solar cutters continuing to grow in that space and really start to influence the renewable um, sector as a whole, really, and influence some policy and industry um, to get good outcomes for everybody. For Sam, uh, what exclusive offer is AWISE providing to solar cutters members? Oh, so at the moment, AWISE is able to contribute early bird discounts to our AWISE events, which now that COVID is subsiding somewhat, we, we hope to be doing a lot of. Um, you will have access to AWISE um, for advice on how to engage and retain female talent. You'll get AWISE updates first, so you'll be informed before the rest of the industry. And as AWISE continues to grow at its rapid, rapid pace, we plan on including more and more offers for this membership as we go. Excellent. That's wonderful. Um, and now, if the Solar Cutters could host an event anywhere in Australia, where would it be? I had to think about this one because there's so many beautiful places in Australia, but I think Hamilton Island in a resort with a swimming pool and <laughs> things yeah. like that. We can work hard and, and hang out hard together and just uh, have a good time. Absolutely, be beautiful. Um, so how has solar kind of positively impacted yourself um, or a wise? Sure. Um, solar cutters first came into my life very early on um, when solar cutters were created. Um, I got to catch up with Costa quite frequently with his roles um, in warehousing and got to meet Jack as well, which was amazing. But since we've done, started a wise, solar cutters have been immensely supportive um, and we've recently collaborated um, with them on some uh, mental, health uh, mental health awareness in the industry. Um, and we were actually supported by the Clean Energy Council and the Smart Energy Council on that as well. Um, just looking at how to you know, help people identify mental health, give them some practical skills and hear from other people in the industry. I think that was a huge thing that we were able to do. 
And I think we'll just continue to work together on important initiatives to make sure that the whole industry um, is informed. Yeah, fantastic. And so lastly, um, if you got stranded on a desert island with a solar cutter, who would it be and why? Okay, firstly, I would prefer a tropical island because I would get so sunburned on a desert island. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, Jack and Costa, I hate you for asking me this question because there's so many incredible people in the industry and I feel a lot of pressure to answer correctly. So if I couldn't take everyone with me, um, I feel like if we did, we'd just build this amazing off-grid community and we'd all have a great time and be really relaxed. But if I had to choose one person, I'd probably have to take Eddie May with me, uh, my business partner, because I would never hear the end of it if I didn't. <laughs> Uh -huh. oh, fair enough. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It was, no uh, problem. Great. It was great to meet you. <laughs> yeah, you too. I'm so excited that you're now working with the guys. Um, they, they would love having you around to help them, I'm sure. 